Hello, I've got for you today the 2022 release from Mont Blanc, July release from Mont Blanc for the Writer's Edition. This is a 9800 limited edition uh, dedicated to the Brothers Grimm. So this year I think they've gone uh, quite deep into the symbolism. Of course the Brothers Grimm are very well known for their numerous fairy tales. I think over 200, uh, 200 different fairy tales oops, uh, written over the years. And so quite a lot of symbolism to pull on. As usual, these writer's editions come in a simulated book with a hardcover and a sleeve. You've got in the book a uh, little pamphlet, a little leaflet that describes the inspiration for the pen, the character, a bit of their bibliography, uh, their history, as well as uh, specific elements from which they pulled inspiration, and then service guide. This year, uh, back to usual, the, the booklet comes in five languages, English, French, uh, Spanish, Chinese, and what's the other one? I can't make out the other, the other one. Sorry about that. Uh, and this year, I think you can tell that they've printed now on matte paper rather than the, the usual glossy paper, so the quality of the images isn't quite as, as nice as it usually is. Uh, anyway, that aside, the pen is very much like the Victor Hugo uh, from a few years ago. Black matte resin. It comes in this sheath. The sheath is unsealed, so you just pop that out. And then you've got uh, what's kind of fantastically textured pen with uh, beautiful, not quite mirror finish rhodium coatings on the fittings and a uh, platinum coated nib. So, oh sorry, platinum coated pen clip with a uh, gold nib. So, like I said, the inspiration is quite uh, quite extensive. In general, the pen is designed to uh, reference a walking stick. The clip is designed to reference a root because the, the brothers uh, were quite known for their uh, academic pursuit of the German language. The waves on the cap and the barrel, I think, are in reference to Rapunzel's hair, but I've seen also uh, an indication that it is related to the darkness of night. Uh, of course, the, the fairy tales that we know today are quite uh, sanitized. Uh, original ones were quite, quite grim. Uh, Let's see, their signature is inscribed. There we go, there you've got Jakob, and then you've got Wilhelm. Come on, Wilhelm somewhere here. There we go, Wilhelm. Uh, and then on the band, you've got Once Upon a Time in German. Es war einmal. Uh, and then you've got here inscribed, I think this is a, uh, Oh uh, yeah, note of the twelve of the twelve original stories that they published in eighteen twelve. Uh, I can't remember exactly which which stories were part of that per first collection, but yes, uh, there. I love the the fidelity of this of this engraving here on the bottom. It's quite sharp. Come on, quite sharp, uh, not muted at all. So it feels feels quite nice. Uh, let's see what else. There, the limited edition number, and then nothing else other than this bulbous uh, finial. Oh yes, here we've got. Let's see if I can pick that up. Uh, two years, eighteen, eighteen thirty-eight, and I think nineteen seventy-one or something like that. Basically, between those two years, there was an effort to translate all of the their work into various languages. So that's the significance of those those two years. And finally, have they corrected it? Uh, let's see. These pens usually have a bit of a balance issue, but I think this year is better than the uh, the Arthur Conan Doyle and better than the Victor Hugo. This year, it's not quite as back heavy, but still feels you have that presence in the back. The nib is 
embellished with flames designed to reference the, uh, the uh, well, what uh, Hansel and Gretel did to the witch in, the, uh, in that fairy tale, in Hansel and Gretel. Uh, so that's the, the symbolism of the, the fire on the nib. I love this. It's detailed yet simple enough, not crowded. I think it works rather well to have uh, one element that takes up the entire nib. So I think it works quite well there. And once again, rhodium coated fittings. No, uh, no protective sheathing this time. Just a note of uh, nib size. So once again, these are piston fillers. Wonderful, smooth action. Uh, oh, and I just noticed the, the rhodium coated uh, section is more of a mirror finish than the rest of the fittings. That's a bit, a bit strange. Doesn't quite fit with uh, the rest of the pen. But uh, there you go. The 2022 Writer's Edition dedicated to the Brothers Grimm, Wilhelm and Jakob. I think they've got a, another brother too that did the illustrations, but uh, not an expert. So there you go. Let me know if you've got questions or comments.